Hello guys, it's Patrick HDX Gaming here and welcome to how to play with Portugal. Um, yes, as you can hear, this is another live commentary. I had great responses on my first one, so I thought it would be a great idea to do another one. And yeah, here it is. So um, yes, the um, European tournament add-on for FIFA 12 has just been released. And uh, the tournament in real life is right to start soon. And um, I thought it would be great to do to start uh, doing the series here with um, uh, national teams, because I know you guys are playing this add-on here right now. And yeah, I'm showing you how to play with Portugal because um, Portugal is one of my favorite national teams besides Germany, of course. Um, they have great individuals in it, very skillful players and fast players, and this is what I like. So um, I will show you the way I play with them. And yes, I know that this is my way. Of course, you have you can, you can have your own opinion, and I respect it. But uh, maybe you can give this a try here, guys. So um, let's start with the formation here. So um, I use the default one, which is the the uh, second variation of the four three three formation. Um, the difference uh, to the uh, first variation is that you uh, have a central defensive midfield player which is really important when you have a weak defensive line but I will talk about this later guys so um, let's check the lineup here um, unfortunately it's in German but I hope you can uh, read this and you can get uh, what the, the what the uh, positions are in, in English so um, yes we have Patricio on the goal or however he is pronounced uh, the defenders are Pereira, Alves, Pepe and Coentrao. The midfield players are Veloso, Mereles, Moutinho. And the uh, strikers are Nani, Ronaldo and Quaresma. So um, yeah, let's start with the keeper. Um, it's Patricio. I prefer playing him instead of Eduardo because he has better attributes. And I think because um, you, can, you can't control the keeper in the game. I think it's uh, the best uh, when you play the keeper with the um, best attributes. So um, this is Patricio, of course, here. Now we're coming to the defenders. Um, here we have Pereira on the right back position and Coentrao on the left back position. Um, both are very quick and great at crosses, as you can see here. Uh, Pereira has 81 and Coentrao has 83. Um, this is very important as I'm always saying because you can make runs down the wing and cross the ball into the penalty box and your striker maybe converts it. And um, as the central backs we have uh, the strong ones which are Alves and Pepe. They are not so fast um, but, they are gr that, but they are strong as I said before and they are both great on headers so you can use them on corner kicks of course. Uh, but Alves, um, yeah, I, I really don't like to play with him, but uh, we have no better solution on in the squad besides Rolando. But I also like don't like to play with him, <laughs> so so uh, Alves has to play, and this is also the reason why I prefer the um, second variation of the four three three formation, because uh, we have the central defensive midfield player here, uh, which is Miguel Miguel Viloso. Um, this central defensive midfield player supports the central backs and yeah, so you can equal some weak points um, and the weak point in this defensive line here is always and Miguel will also can equal this. So um, as the right central midfield player we have Mireles and as the left one we have Joao Matinho. They are both very great players with a great shot. Um, you can uh, play great passes with them. And they are both. They have both um, free um, skill moves, skill move points, and yeah, nothing more to say here. Um, great uh, midfield players, and no more great players um, in the on on the bench here. Let's check this. No, they are no better players. Yeah, now we're coming to the strikers. Um, of course, we play with Ronaldo in the middle. Um, he's the best player in the game, of course. Um, uh, Messi has 94 um, overall in uh, over overall, uh, but I think uh, Ronaldo is better than him because he's stronger, and he doesn't uh, loses um, some uh, those uh, tacklings from uh, the defenders because he's um, stronger than Messi, and he has an amazing shot. So guys, um, on the right right wing position we have Nani, and on the left one we have Karashma. 
both are one on one of my favorite players um, very skillful uh, both of them have a five star skill move um, Ronaldo um, also have of course and yes guys um, Nani is on the right and Kwarashma on the left it doesn't matter how you um, play them you can also play Nani on the left and Kwarashma on the right but um, yes, uh, let's check um, their attributes um, a great uh, great ball control from both here um, you can really very good with them and they have also um, great cross crossing attributes um, Nani is a bit better at crossing uh, but um, yeah you should definitely run with them uh, down the wing and cross into the middle because there is um, Cristiano Ronaldo and when he gets the ball in the penalty box um, it's surely a goal guys so um, yeah I hope you liked it and um, this is my way way of course um, you can have your own one as I said before um, but please leave me some feedback um, you can discuss this, this formation here in the, in the comment box and um, yes guys um, tell me what you think uh, please give this a like here uh, comment about what you think and if you're not a subscriber already please subscribe me now um, there will be more tutorials and um, videos like this here in the future and I wish you the best fun you can have uh, with the game and we will see us in the next video guys so peace